Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Raisa here with High Society Cane Corso. Yeah. So today we're gonna go over how to cut your dog's nails if they have black nails. I've been wanting to film this for a while and then things just kinda. But anyways, we're gonna do it today. Um, I'm gonna do it on Storm. Her nails have kind of gotten a little bit out of control. Um, it's important to also to keep in mind that when you do cut your dog's nails, um, the quick does grow along with their nails. If their nails are super long, you can't just go and like cut them super short. You have to do it slowly and you have to do it really gradually, especially if you have if your dog has black nails because with the white nails, you can actually see the quick inside the nail. With theirs, you can't, but there's a trick of knowing what to look for and I'm going to show you all that today. So here's Miss Storm. We're going to see how she's going to cooperate with me. Today, she really doesn't like her nails cut. Lycan tends to do a lot better with this than her, but his are already pretty trimmed down. So, um, you can either have your dog sitting, laying down, however really you think they'd be best to cooperate with you. I actually sit on the floor with her and have her paw in my lap, which is the easiest for me. Storm down. Good girl, stay. I do use a clipper that has a guard on it as well, so I do keep that guard down when I'm cutting. And I'll show you all the close-ups of what I'm looking for on her nail. So within the black nail, there's going to be um, a demarcation in the nail. It's going to look like a little gray circle. And when you see that circle, that's your note to stop cutting. You're getting really close to the quick. You can maybe do a sliver or more, but after that, you do need to stop and um, or else you will cut them by accident. Do it. You always want to cut from the top. So the nail is curved like this. You want to cut um, this way from the top to make sure. This one here, you can start seeing that there's like a white or grayish thing on the center of the nail. That's telling me that I need to slow down and I'm getting close to the quick. This one here does not have that up top in this top part right here. It's still black. That means I can keep going on this one. But this one here up top, you see that has that little gray or white demarcation on the inside of it. I know her nails are really dirty. It's so raining out here. But I'll also include the chart, which is like much clearer to see. But if you kind of know that little grooming tip, it saves you from like a lot of stuff. And you also should have some stick tick powder on hand just in case. That'll clot it up really quickly and keep the wound from bleeding too much. With cutting those nails, there's a super um, really informative infographic that I'll put here on the next thing so you can really see clearly. I know like the video of what Storm probably sucked because <laughs> she's moving around and stuff like that. Okay, Jude, one second. He's obsessed with this show. This YouTube show that he watches. Um, it really shows you like when you're okay, when to stop, when to keep going. But literally looking at that picture, it was so much easier for me to like really see what I was doing with their nails. Like before I even found that, I we were literally cutting blindly, which is like scary. And we used to have a little small, like, I think she was like a Shih Tzu mix or like, no, she was more like a Maltese mix. And like the poor thing, like when we first had her, like we were always cutting her. Then I was taking her to the groomers and they were even actually missing it. And the poor thing had to go to the vet like twice because the groomer cut her nails so short that it was just bleeding everywhere. She had to go get it checked up. So with finding this infographic, I just wanted to share it with all of you. I know a lot of Corsos that are, or dogs that have darker coats do have black nails and that can be really challenging. Storm here is all tuckered out after cutting her nails. You would like some juice? Okay, mama's gonna get you some juice in one second, okay? In, in Jude's cup? Okay, mom put it in Jude's cup. We got Storm here, super tired after now cutting her nails. Storm, it wasn't even that bad. But it's so important with bigger dogs too to like get them used to cutting their nails from an early age. Like always play with their feet. Like Storm sits pretty well. She kind of fidgets a little bit, but if I sit completely down next to her, then she'll kind of just lay her head in my lap and I'm able to cut her nails.